I'm going to sit down and tell you all this. I looked up Nephilim. Nephilim are giants. They were here at the time of Noah. They are, their head is as big as five men. Their bodies as long as seven men. We're in tribulation, people. This is the last days. This is the end times. I'll tell you what. They use guillotines to cut off the heads because it's like a chicken when you cut off the head of a chicken. The chicken bobbles around and walks because there's still oxygen in the blood. Nephilim eat human flesh and blood. They also eat organs. They're cannibals. That's what they are. They're living in the tunnels under Walmart. That's why they make tunnels for. They didn't want you knowing there were Nephilim here. Because they knew if you found out nobody would be able to protect them. So they're staying in the tunnels under Walmart. I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. There's 800 FEMA camps. You divide 200 spirits into 800 and you get four. There are four blacked out buildings in each town ready to be a FEMA camp. That's why the FEMA camps are being activated. They're for the Nephilim to feed the Nephilim. The Nephilim have gotten their food and now they're hungrier. So they're sending more people their way. That's how they're taking away the population of people. That's how we're becoming extinct. We're being fed to the Nephilim. I'm just as scared as you are. Because I heard it in action, okay? Right next door to my room, I heard it. I was in a, an apartment, okay? And I heard it in the apartment right next door. I heard the guy screaming. And what they were doing. Most of those people, they send upstream. And then they find their bodies and they cover it up. The police do. Because they don't want anybody knowing. They're taking people. They're taking people by car. Any way they can, they're taking them. They're doing that to them. Some countries, they eat the organs because they get more energy out of the organs. Is what they said. They're buying hydrogen cyanide so that they can poison their food before they eat it. They were, gonna give, they were giving me hydrogen cyanide in my room before. When they were trying to kill me. And then they were going to eat me once they killed me. I would have been their food. That's what the gang stalkers didn't know. That were trying to kill me. They had no idea. But that's what the Nephilim do. They poison their food before they eat it. A lot of countries do that. That's what the Nephilim do. They work in high places. Talks about the Nephilim in the Bible. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And that's what it's talking about. Describes the Nephilim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's come to this. I tried to tell you. So many times I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. I tell the truth. I'm not a fear monger. I tell the truth. We are in the last days. The rapture is fastly approaching us quickly. Christ will be coming quickly. I can't wait. Because I'm ready. More than ready. I'm being marked for the rapture.
because I will be participating in it. I will be serving in God's army, people. I'm a soldier. That's why. I'm one of God's soldiers. And I have been mistaken for so many other things that I'm not. That's what you have to realize. I am God's soldier going to fight a battle so that there can be peace on earth once again. And I will willingly give my life if that's what it takes. Because I'll tell you what, this earth is worth saving. And I want to save it. More than ever. And I'm sorry about what's happening. I wish to God we weren't living in this time and era. I enjoyed growing up in a wonderful world. I don't know where that world went. When my pa husband passed away. And I got turned out in this world. It was not the world I expected. It's scary. Fearsome. But I have to hang on to God's hand. A little boy goes with his dad everywhere. He doesn't miss his place. And he hangs on to his father's hand because he knows that's the only way he is safe. He has to trust God. If he doesn't trust God, he can't trust anybody, not even himself. They take the heads off with the guillotine because that keeps the oxygen in the blood. So that they can drink the blood. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what they do. Read about the Nephilim. Learn about them. They are the Antichrist. They are son of Satan. <laughs> they are demons. And they're from hell. 2015, they ran the CERN, they made hell on earth with portals and demons. That's what's happened. They brought the Nephilim, and now the Nephilim are here. Problem is, they busted a portal wide open. All these demons came in. <laughs> To the world and their door was busted down the portal was busted in the problem is they're like a dog they can't find their way home that's the problem because they're lost in this world I'm serious that's what's wrong Things have to be set right again. And the only way for things to be set right is the rapture. And for God to throw Satan in his pit and shut the door. That's why he's talking about he has to shut the door of the portal to the demon world. To keep the demons out. That's what's going on. And that will happen in the rapture. I'm not making this stuff up. I don't make stuff up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything that's going on in this world. There's nothing I can do. I'm just one person. And like you, I'm waiting for my Lord and Savior to come and take me by the hand. I'm waiting for that promised land. I'm waiting for the new Jerusalem. And so be it. We'll be there soon, people. We'll be there soon. Take care. God bless. Bye now.